How's it going? <laughs> so when I was editing the video that I shot the other day, I realised that I had spent a lot of time waffling on about stuff without really explaining my thought process or explaining what I was doing. So I'm going to try and rectify that today and explain a little bit about why I'm doing things and exactly what I'm doing. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll find some interesting stuff, otherwise I won't be able to do any of that, but we'll find out. It's almost straight away I've come across a log that must be probably more than two metres long and it's absolutely covered in something which, according to my brand new guidebook, might be called hairy curtain crust. Um, if you're a fungi expert, correct me if I'm wrong, please. So this is how the camera's set up, just pointing down at the fungi. There's my LED light just behind it to give it just a little bit of rim light around the edge of the fungi. And you can see my bag is in the background, which is just ensuring that I don't get any direct sunlight come onto the fungi during the focus stack. Right, so I've set the shot up and I'm looking down on the fungi and you can see from the long shot that I've got my LED light set up just to include a bit of backlight. Um, I focused on what I think is the closest part of the fungi, which is just down here. Then I can bring the focus back towards me slightly and do a focus stack of lots of images so that I can get all this area in focus as well. I framed it up so that I'm not cutting the edge of this off here and I'm not cutting the edge of this off here either. Um, we're going to use an aperture of f5.6 and we're going to go 20th of a second. So exposure is, is nicely balanced. It's a little bit underexposed according to the meter, but I don't want to burn out any of the highlights around the edges. So we're going to shoot quite a few images for this one because I want to be absolutely sure that everything's in focus. So again, check the focus on the nearest part just down here. I'm going to bring the focus back a little bit towards me just to make absolutely sure that there's nothing closer that I've missed. And then we're going to shoot a focus stack. We're going to shoot 200 images. I don't think I'm going to need anywhere near this amount but I'd rather shoot too many just to make sure I have the whole thing covered. And we're going to shoot a focus step width of one just to give us the finest amount of granularity that we can. So we're going to shoot that now. So we can see from the final image that focus goes well back through the frame, so we should be nicely covered for the focus stack. So um, if that comes out nicely, here is the shot now. Okay, so we're done with that shot. We're going to move on and see what else we can find. So I found these bright orange things right next to the path and I'm going to set the camera up and see how it looks. So here's the setup and I'm using the LED light just to throw a bit of extra light to the underside. Okay, so I'm framed up on the mushrooms and I've chosen to focus on the closest point, which is here. And I've tried to leave a nice little bit of border around the edge here, a little border at the top, a little border over on the left hand side there. Just get a nice sort of gradation of mushroom sizes up the image. So I'm just going to check the focus on the nearest point to me going to bring it a bit closer just to make sure everything's good. Then I'm going to shoot a focus stack and I'm going to do 200 images at a step width of one. Again I'm shooting more images than I think I need so that I make sure I'm covered and a step width of one so that I know I've got the finest granularity. So I'm going to shoot that now. So we can see the from the final image in the stack that the focus point is well past the back of the mushrooms all the way around and is focused on this, this greenery at the back. So we're fully covered. So if that comes out well, 
here's the shot. So we finished the shot with the orange mushrooms. I'm going to move on and see if I can find one more good shot today. So quite near to the previous shot, I found this chap just on his own, on a log. So I'm going to set the camera up and see how that looks. So this is the setup. I'm using two LED lights this time, one at the left, one at the right. And I'm kind of shooting up to um, almost silhouette the mushroom against the sky, except I'm adding lights to fill in the detail underneath. Okay, so here's the setup on the back of the camera. Um, I've tried to get the mushroom where I'm shooting up underneath to show all of the detail underneath here. I'll just show a little bit of this foreground. It's kind of almost like it's a large tree in a forest. So the sky is just kind of, it's going to come out as sort of mid grey. I'm focused on the closest point of the mushroom, which is right at this top edge here. And I'm going to bring the focus slightly towards me and I'm going to shoot a focus stack. I'm going to go for 200 images, focus step width of one. I want to make sure I get the whole thing in focus and with as fine a granularity as possible to get the detail in all of those gills. So I'm going to shoot that now. So we can see from this final image that the focus point is well past the back of the mushroom, certainly well past the actual kind of stalk thing there. So we're fully covered for the focus stack. And if it looks okay, here's the shot. This is where I normally do my little outro piece to camera, but there's some children screaming in the background, so I'll try again in a moment. Now there's an adult shouting in the background. Let's try again in a minute. I've given up waiting for screaming children to go away, so you can probably still hear them in the background. But anyway, I think I've got a few good shots and I'm going to call it a day. So I will see you next time. How does it go? <laughs> <laughs> How does what go? <laughs> the thing, you know, the thing they do. I don't know. <laughs> the wavy arm thing. <laughs> <laughs>